the Life Path Dialogues weaves together an expressive, celebrated life. I'm your host, Carla Woody. A Pabian too is a Maya daykeeper, a spiritual guide, dancer, and musician of the Quiche Maya tradition. He's from a village in the Guatemalan Highlands. His ceremonial work most often takes place in caves, where he engages the resident energies of the natural site and timing of the Zolkin calendar in conjunction with needs of communities or individuals. During these times, he becomes a living mirror and a spiritual conduit. I'm honored to include him in my spiritual travel program, Entering the Maya Mysteries, where we engage with authentic spiritual leaders and healers who serve their local communities. In November 2012, I interviewed him by Skype for an article that I was writing at the time on Native traditions pertaining to seeds and farming and the whole GMO issue. We had an in-depth, lengthy discussion, and it was so beautiful that I want to share an excerpt of it with you here. In the highlands, is a very ecological environment. environment. Mm -hmm. Nothing has changed really in the last hundred years about the sowing and the harvesting. There's, a, let's say, for example, something that is very unusual for the Western people. Uh, in here, in here, there's no garbage. Everything is is used for as uh, another purpose. Uh huh. Uh, there, uh, let's say, the recent um, metal cans from the from the Coke, mm -hmm. Pepsi, mm -hmm. are the first, and, and the plastic bags are the first things that are beginning to accumulating in, in some places. But it goes to the to the to the to the farm. It goes to the mountain. It mm -hmm. goes to the next uh, season of sowing. So th there's it, it's kind of a joke. I don't know if, if I can express it like that, but when a, when a, a Highland Maya sees this this kind of a new product that says organic harvesting, it's like, well, what, what are they doing? A friend of mine uh, once was, told, telling me, was asking me what was the difference between what the Western man now is doing with this 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 phenomenon organic, uh, of organic foods, organic this, in differences with what we have been done always. Right. Yeah. You know, what I what I wanted to talk with you about especially is uh, what it means to like Maya people or other native people that you know the, the the cycles of the weather and the cycles of the land are just part of the spiritual aspect of growing food and um, all the way that uh, the Native people live like that close to the land was a spiritual aspect of just and integrated into everything that they do. We say that we, we cannot be what we must be without the land. Uh -huh. That's the first. One for one, another principle for my own worldview is that the body, the body we have, is not really ours. Mm. It's not. It's, it is like a landing from the, from the, from the earth itself, herself in this case. So if you make any kind of a danger, any danger, to your body, in reality you are doing it to the earth also. Mm. So what the earth produces and what we produce, it is in the same. Uh, cycle, it is part of the same uh, 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 system. I don't know if it is the word, the appropriate word, mm -hmm. but taking into account that we are not separated, we are not the others from the earth, and the earth is not to be taken as a as a provider or just as a provider. Of, of of goods mm. and of goods mm. and and, and uh, in the Spanish they use the term recursos naturales as something natural resources uh -huh. 
as something that must be taken or must be transformed or must be civilized, civilized huh. or whatever. For us, it is not an appropriate word, um, natural resources. For us, elements of life, it is the word we use. I'm thinking in a translation from a Maya um, idiom. It could be elements of life. Cacas de mal, cacas de malich. It is our life. It is not a resource. So, any danger you do to the earth is a danger to you. But any danger to your own body it is also a danger to the earth. You must all, you must always have to take into account that it's the same cycle. It mm. is the same construction. It is the. It's, it, uh, it is like uh, if we can say that we are an extension, a extension of the um, of the earth with all the elements. So we are told always about the sacredness of the seed mm. herself. The seed is a feminine entity. The way, the proper way to 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 to, to talk to to her. The proper way to carry to, to carry her, to select her, to do the best, to talk to her and to talk to the field, to the sky and to the earth for protection, to the sowing, for the act of sowing. And in our case, that is a little different. And the way in which the Mayan calendar, the Cholkir, the Tzolkin, is giving you was giving us the the proper substance substance of a day and, and then the decision to take a day into account for the proper preparation of the seed, the sowing and the man and el mantenimiento the maintenance of the corn fields, let's say and I'm just talking about the, the corn. Mm -hmm. So um, as there as, as as I told you uh, uh, minutes ago, as, as there's no waste, there's no garbage, there's not any single part of what you do that is going to become um, uh, useful. Uh, 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 um, everything you you grow up, everything you sow, has a purpose. Even the, the seed that is not appropriated, the seed that comes with with uh, bugs, mm -hmm. the seed that is contaminated, the, everything has a purpose and at the end we'll have another one if it's not just for food. So, there's another, uh, uh, so in this conception, this, this global Maya way of thinking, what you are, what you are um, doing is not to surpass a cycle, is not to try to move something from its place in the universe, but it's more than that, the sowing act, the preparation of the seed, the care of the seed, the spiritual ceremonies for the seed, it is an integration of an of a flow that already exists, yes. a flow that, that, that must not be taken for us, not must not be modificated. So uh, every every single act of planting of sowing, uh, planting the seed, um, uh, it is equivalent in some. It is equipped has equivalent equivalency. Every other single things we think about the universe. Let's say, for example, as an example, you, uh, for you to understand what I'm trying to, to, to say, the earth, the earth itself, uh, the, herself, is treated as a woman, as a fertile woman. The sky is is treated, is conceived, is is is. Uh, think with the heart as a male. The uh, entering the time in which 
it is the proper time to plant, to sow the seed, to plant the seed. It is as, at a certain point that a relationship between a father and a mother is going to begin in a sexual, in, a, in some sort of a sexual thing mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. That is equivalent as we, as a humans, an extension of the earth, do for purposes, for the same purposes of multiplication and preservation and integration to the, the not only to the community, but only to the to the to the universe, to the sky, to the earth. So every uh, so for us there is no single point in any part of the plow, the sowing or the harvesting in which there's no um, sacredness, in which there's no a proper way to talk to something, for us, everything has a, a, an inner soul and an, exter an external soul, a now well, a, a, a proper breath, breathing life that we must um, talk to. The, 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 um, the um, seeds have a dialogue. Um, in some cases, the syncretic ones have a misa, have a mass. But in in the in the Mayan in the proper ways of the of the Mayan calendar has they have they have uh, their ceremony their dialogue um, there are some uh, there are um, uh, ancient very ancient um, ceremonial um, uh, speech speech mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's um, that uh, that we use to talk to the sea. Uh, uh, thinking the earth not as a provider, sowing the seed as an equivalent as of, of what we are really as a, as an entity as are my it is only my own soul. It is going to enter me. It is going to give me life. I I have to give life to the life. It is part of my of myself. The seed. So. Uh, uh, and and uh, as, as I insisted, the, the earth being no, not just the provider of everything, and not to be taking more than what you. There's uh, there's something like this. You must not take more than what you cannot give in back in return. Mm -hmm. If you take one tree, you must plant at least three, uh, four. So the global conception is that the earth is sacred. The chalk. If the, the Mayan calendar is giving us the proper understanding of how everything is connected, interconnected, or how the cycles are interweaving their, 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 their self into the rainy season, the dry season, the, um, the, the, the counting of the days. The, the, this is maybe a secret I'm telling to you how we can hear the first thunder and then we say this is the, the, and then we think about the day about uh, in the cal in the Mayan calendar and make calculations with the fingers we, maybe we can say we can make we can make the countings and we can say well 40 days later uh, it uh, becomes uh, it, it begins just as an example, it begins the the first part of the rainy season. But there's not there is there's all. But we must wait because there's no the proper moment for the entire rainy um, a, a season to enter. So wait with the with the seed. You must not plant it earlier because the the crows and and, and the snakes and the mm -hmm. rats can mm -hmm. take. Every single single mm -hmm. seed. Mm -hmm. You must not plant it after what you calculate with the Mayan calendar because it could um, podrir. Um, la semilla se puede podrir. Ya just omar de ya. So we use maybe this is our case the Mayan calendar to calculate it, um, the days for the proper uh, times to do. The sowing and do the harvesting. Mm -hmm. So the calendar for the interwave of cycles. And as I said, as I said earlier, it is our purpose not to take more than we can give back, but also 
we must not uh, change what has its own flow. We must enter the flow to take the best of uh, of, of ourselves mm -hmm. general. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we must not touch what is not ours. It is and there's another saying I'm, I'm 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 recalling right now that says that as as they it is quite a, a, a bitter joke like something like this like we say well the Western man has told you that the earth um, is is millions and millions years old and this earth we are we are stepping on um, has been. Um, habitated by humans by hundreds and hundreds of years. So now, with which idea, I'm trying to recall that in my 30 years or my 40 years old, I can possess something of this. It is not ours from the beginning. Right. We not touch it. It is not for us to devastate it. It is for us to then flow, to understand, to mm. have a dialogue. They respond. The plants, the seeds, they talk to us. So there's no necessity to say, this is mine. This is for mine to put, to, to, to isolate it from, from, from everything. There's another kind of a saying that says, you can, you can, um, you can separate your earth. You can make this world. To, 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 to say this is the part of the earth that I can that I that I possess that is mine that is not for you you must not enter but you cannot divide the sky for mm. the rain mm. so what kind of let's say stupidity we are doing with the earth that is always in the love is always in the interweaving process with us, us to her, us to the, to, 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 to the sky, that we, uh, we divide it, we are divided here. We have this earth, we have this property, we have these this transitory papers that give us the, the right to, to depredate this part, but the sky has no visions. It rains for everything, mm. and the sun came mm. also. So maybe we, we are thinking uh, it is always the same it is it, they are ideas that uh, it is always conduct uh, for us to say or to think that that we must give respect to the earth and to the sky and we then will receive that that respect mm -hmm. we must talk to the to the new but there's another but well, this is a uh, uh, a tradition as being part of everything of, of the surroundings the nature and thinking uh, as a sacred being um, we plant always in hand we do the um, when ceremony of planting and sowing we have five seeds only one of the five is for us as we are responsible of the, of the integrity of the earth and the sky their universe being the one the ones that most have uh, this principle of, 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 of respect and, and sacred dialogue we have five seeds in the hand but only is, one is for the sky one is for the earth so it's an offering one is for us. One is for the brothers, as we say, in the in the films. Okay, maybe there's there's a crow. It's going to come. Mm. It's going to mm. see it. Maybe it is going to, to be the rat, or it, maybe it is going to be the whatever. The last one, the last one, is for anybody who needs it. Mm. And it is also think that if my harvesting is quite uh, 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 an abundant mm -hmm. good. maybe I will, I will have some extra seeds to give back or to help some, someone or to sell because this is essentially an agricultural environment of self there is no um, uh, uh, 
so we harvesting for for commercial purposes. Right, for right, right. So, so and even so, we have an extra seed in case anyone needed. It. Mm. In the same act of planting, there's the purpose of me, the universe, and so someone else who carry my heart, my, my, my heart if everything goes better than, than what I expect. The, 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 the basics are always full of ideas of what you are doing, why you are doing, what you are treating with so much respect, the, mm. the, 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 we are core beings. So we must not even play with the seeds or to, to, to leave the dirt in the in the in the floor. There's a saying that says that if you step on, on over a, a seed of a corn, let's say for example, your feet is going to, uh, to fall. Yeah. And there's another one. I think there uh, at least for the highlands, there is not enough room right now for the new politics from Monsanto and, mm. and, and the others. But I'm thinking just about uh, my brother farmers and peasants that live, already live for self uh, preservation, from self uh, harvesting. In the lowlands, the things can be different because there's there's this Latino, this Occidental, Western, mm -hmm. cash people that contract Mayans to, to do farming, to do sowing and harvesting. But there, that that's not really what we eat. That is what is produced for mm -hmm. for, for let's say for example the persons in the capital city, mm -hmm. huge uh, cities. The Maya, the Maya from which uh, I can speak of is uh, is we in the highlands, in the mountains, mm -hmm. that do everything organic. Right, already. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and, and the best selection has been done for hundreds of years, mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. year, every single year selected. And so let, let me ask you a question. I think what I'm understanding is that as far as the Maya people who are living in the highlands, who live in the villages, that really they're planting the same seeds that they've planted for centuries. And, yeah. and that Monsanto uh, and those other companies, they have not been able to come into the area that you're talking about and um, essentially distributed the Monsanto seeds. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's, there's, there's something very important and very singular. Mm -hmm. my, my, my dissertation. Okay. <laughs> um, from time to time, uh, when there's this kind of uh, the, these election times, sometimes there are uh, these distributions of. of fertilizantes, mm -hmm. but they are given as, as a, not, not as a support, but, but as a ways to get more, more to gain the elections. Uh huh. Right. Right. But people, there, there's, there's something, something, some things that are very peculiar because they have, they, they receive the, the fertilizer. And no, we not, not, not really what to do with that. Uh -huh. It is not so because, as I said. There's this organic production of every, every single organic remain that came from the house, uh, uh, the food or whatever it goes back to the goes back go, go, goes back as an organic. Right. I included many of the Pavillon's words in the article that became seed intelligence, indigenous perspectives, and our collective birthright. It was published in the Ojibwe Farming Curriculum, sponsored by Winona LaDuke's Honor the Earth Foundation. It's being used in tribal colleges where the foundation is active. If you'd like to read the full article, it's now available as a free download from the Writing Samples page on my blog. Go to thelifepathdialogues.com and look under Articles to Download. I believe in the sacred sense of reciprocity. 
Tuitions from the Maya Spiritual Travel Program include a financial contribution to support the welfare of the Maya people with whom we engage, as well as preservation of native traditions. If you'd like more information on the upcoming Maya Mysteries program, you can go to either Kenosis or Kenosis Spirit Keepers, the nonprofit extension.